Hello, I'm Lawrence Gold, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to explain the difference between consultations and coaching. I'm going to talk about what we do in each and what you may expect from each. First, a few words of self-introduction. I practice a form of clinical somatic education called HANA Somatic Education, developed by Thomas Hanna, Ph.D., who was a student of Moshe Feldenkrais. Hannah substantially extended the work of Feldenkrais and made it sufficiently clinically reliable that we can know exactly what it's going to take to clear up a given condition and how many sessions with durable results. I've used the methods that I present on this website to clear up painful conditions that I've had, such as sciatica, the results of falls and automobile accidents, and sacroiliac joint dysfunction. Many of the programs you find in this website came directly from my having used the methods in which I was trained to clear up my own problems. I've been in practice since 1990 and I had two years on staff at the Watsonville Community Hospital in California in their Wellness and Rehabilitation Center, working with patients referred to me who had neuromuscular disorders that led to chronic pain and loss of mobility. I have a letter of reference on my personal page at somatics.com, which also features a list of places in which my articles have been published. That said, let's get to our main topic. Consultations and coaching have two different purposes. Consultations are to determine what's going on with you that's creating the symptoms that brought you to this website and to me. It's to find out what you need in order to correct the condition you're in. Coaching is the process of guiding you through the process of correcting what's going on with you so that the pain disappears and function is restored or even enhanced. In both, you complete a functional assessment form that details your symptoms and your history of injuries lifelong. Generally, I find lifelong makes a difference and even incidents that you may discount because you never got medical treatment may be central to understanding your condition and to knowing what you need. In both cases, we do the process of either coaching or consultation face-to-face. -face. We do that by scheduling a time and use either Skype or Google Hangouts to do the one-on-one -on -one consultation. During that time, I'll ask you about anything related to your symptoms so I'll be asking you questions and giving you the opportunity to ask questions. What I do is I look at your symptoms, your history of injuries, and the kinds of movements that were involved in those injuries, including the cringing movements that result from the pain of injury. And because we're on camera, I use visual information. I may ask you to stand up and do certain kinds of movements like bending over, for example, to see if your hamstrings are free or tight. And on the basis of those three kinds of information, which generally converge on a single understanding, I make my recommendations. Generally, consultations last in increments of 30 minutes. Most people do 30-minute consultation, after which I'll send you a link to the replay of that consultation conversation and any recommendation that I may not have already made during the consultation. If there are, are written notes, I'll send those to you also. In ongoing coaching, I track along with you as you go through whichever program you're working with so that you get your progress smoothly and get free if you get stuck any place very quickly. What you can expect from working with a program is the clearing up of your condition, and I guarantee results with no time limit. On coaching, 
The coaching process is an ongoing process in which you're working with a program to clear up a condition that you've been suffering. And you use me to help get through getting the program's results more quickly. This is useful sometimes when people get stuck. Either they are unclear how to do a movement, they feel like they may be doing it incorrectly, or symptoms are popping up that they didn't expect. And in all cases, my job is to get you through the stuck place and moving again. Generally, I ask people contact me after two practice sessions that have brought up the same question in you so that we can move you along quickly. Please do not flounder for weeks at a time. Contact me promptly. I ask for a 24 hour advance notice for scheduling purposes and three times during which you'll be available for the call, including your time zone. At the appointed time, you call me at the contact number or Skype ID that I provide. The exception being if we're doing a Google Hangout, I will send you the link for you to click that will bring you straight into the Hangout so that we meet face-to-face -face video and audio. In coaching, we stay apace with your condition, meaning that as you're working through the program, I want to track with you to make sure that you're getting progress. If you're making progress, there's no need to have a coaching call with me. However, as I said earlier, if you feel like you've gotten stuck, this is the way to move you through quickly. Generally with coaching programs, a person gets all of the programs needed for the condition for which you've signed up for coaching as part of the coaching package. It's all included. Sometimes people have multiple overlying conditions that interfere with clearing each other up. The art is to know how to untangle the knot, where to enter in to dissolve the interference so that you can do the program you're working with as intended. You may click the link at the bottom of this video clip to get to the consultation page where more information is available. All coaching and consultation is covered by a no time limit money back guarantee of satisfaction.